is entanglement. Entanglement is a theoretical prediction that comes from the equations of quantum mechanics. Two particles can become entangled if they're close together and their properties become linked. Remarkably, quantum mechanics says that even if you separated those particles, sending them in opposite directions, they could remain entangled, inextricably connected. To understand how profoundly weird this is, consider a property of electrons called spin. Unlike a spinning top, an electron spin, as with other quantum qualities, is generally completely fuzzy and uncertain until the moment you measure it. And when you do, you'll find it's either spinning clockwise or counterclockwise. It's kind of like this wheel. When it stops turning, it will randomly land on either red or blue. Now imagine a second wheel. If these two wheels behave like two entangled electrons, then every time one landed red, the other is guaranteed to land on blue. And vice versa. Now, since the wheels are not connected, that's suspicious enough. But the quantum mechanics embraced by Niels Bohr and his colleagues went even further, predicting that if one of the pair were far away, even on the moon, with no wires or transmitters connecting them. Still, if you look at one and find red, the other is sure to be blue. In other words, if you measured a particle here, not only would you affect it, but your measurement would also affect its entangled partner, no matter how distant. For Einstein, that kind of weird long-range connection between spinning wheels or particles was so ludicrous, he called it spooky. Spooky action at a distance. What's surprising is that when you make a measurement of one particle, you affect the state of the other particle. You change its state. There's no forces or pulleys or, you know, telephone wires. There's nothing connecting those things, right? How could my choice to act here have anything to do with what happens over there? So there's no way they can communicate with each other. So it is completely bizarre. And it was something that Einstein realized in 1935. Einstein just could not accept that entanglement worked this way, convincing himself that only the math was weird, not reality. He agreed that entangled particles could exist, but he thought that there was a simpler explanation for why they were linked that did not involve a mysterious long-distance connection. Instead, he insisted that entangled particles were more like a pair of gloves. Imagine someone separates the two gloves, putting each in a case. Then that person delivers one of those cases to me. And sends the other case to Antarctica. Thanks. Before I look inside my case, I know that it has either a left hand or a right hand glove. And when I open my case, if I find a left hand glove, then at that instant, I know the case in Antarctica must contain a right-hand glove, even though no one has looked inside. There's nothing mysterious about this. Obviously, by looking inside the case, I have not affected either glove. This case has always had a left-hand glove, and the one in Antarctica has always had a right-hand glove. That was set from the moment the gloves were separated and packed away. Now, Einstein thought that exactly the same idea applies to entangled particles. Whatever configuration the electrons are in must have been fully determined from the moment that they flew apart. 